So today we see the experiment on optical fiber. So here the aim is to determine the acceptance angle and numerical aperture of the given optical fiber. As you can see here, this is the optical fiber. So when light enters from one side, it will travel through the optical fiber using totally near reflection and it will be coming out. When the ray is entering, this accepted angle gives the ray gathering capacity of this optical fiber. For example, when the uh, ray enters into this optical fiber, you know inside there is a core, this is cladding, when the ray is entering, it should be falling within a specific core, which we call as the acceptance core. This angle is called as the acceptance angle theta. Okay? So when we actually we have to measure what is this angle? Angle between the axis of the optic fiber and this point where the ray has to fall for which it will be getting the total linear reflection. After this angle, if it is falling, you will not get total linear reflection and the ray will be lost. So always the ray should be falling within this. So this cone is called as the acceptance cone and this angle is called as the acceptance angle. Instead of measuring at this input side, what we do is when the ray travels through this and come out in the same and then it will be coming out of us. So instead of measuring the radiation entering into the optical fiber, we will measure with the help of the ray which is coming out. So if I keep it like this, if you have the end of the optical fiber cable here and at some distance if I keep a screen, on the screen I will be getting this ray is part of light. Spot of light I will be able to get at this point. So at this point, so this is the angle what we have to measure. So if I measure the diameter of this spot of light, so I will be keeping this screen at a specific distance L. Yeah? This distance between the end of the optic fiber and the screen is kept at a specific diameter L. Yeah? And when you collect the radiation falling on the screen, you will be getting a circular spot. So this total distance diameter if I measure D, then this angle I can calculate from this right angle triangle. You will be getting this distance as D by 2. Then I can see from this right angle triangle tan of theta tan theta is equal to opposite side that is d by 2 divided by this adjacent side that is L. So theta I can write as tan inverse of d by 2 L. This is the equation what we are using here. Acceptance angle theta is tan inverse of d by 2. And after finding out what is theta, sine of theta if you calculate, it will give you a numerical very simple experiment. So what we are going to do is, we will keep this distance, this specific value. For example, if I connect it like this, so here, when I switch on this laser source, the radiation will be traveling through this and the output radiation we are connecting on the screen. And here we can see the distance. So I can open this and adjust this distance between the screen and this end of the optic fiber. End of the optic fiber is pointed with the help of this needle. So if I keep it at say for example, I am keeping it at 5 cm. So the distance is kept at 5 cm. At 5 cm position, so this distance is kept at 5. So this L in this position, I am keeping as 5 centimeters. When I put the light, 
I'll be getting here on the screen a spot of light, bright light. So diameter I have to measure. So you have to write it in centimeter. D I can write. So in this case you are getting it as um, two point. 4 millimeter, that is 0.4 centimeter. Yeah. So, in that case, you can find out what is d by 2 j, and from that tan inverse of d by 2 j, if you find out, you will be getting what is the theta. To repeat the experiment, I can go for another distance, say uh, 10 centimeter. Here you can see the distance, so 15 centimeter. 20 centimeter, 25 centimeter, or even 5 centimeter, 7 centimeter, 9 centimeter. In some equal steps, you change this distance, and every time you measure what is the diameter of that spot. What you are going to measure is you will be seeing the spot, you see what is the diameter. That diameter value will be right. Both should be in centimeter. Then you find out this time inverse of d by 2, that value you will be getting as a theta. And when we all experiments in all the trials you are getting the value of theta, mean of theta you can find out. Then sign of theta if you calculate you will be getting the numerical average. I'll give you a set of readings. So in this case I am writing trial number then L you are setting L value that's the distance between the screen and the end of the optic fiber, this in centimeter of it. And diameter of that spot T, so you write in centimeter. Then you will be calculating acceptance angle as time inverse of D by 2 L. This will be theta. This much is the tabulation. So I'll give you the value of this L and try one. Initially I kept it at 5 cm. At 5 cm, the distance I got was 1.2 cm. Second trial, 5.5 cm distance was taken. For that, 1.3 was the diameter of that. Third trial, 6 cm. For 6 cm, 1.5 cm diameter is observed. Next, 6.5. For 6.5, 1.6 cm. 5. 7 cm. 1.7 cm. 6. 7.5 cm. Got it as 1.9. So you can do the calculation with these readings. So the time d by 2L and tan inverse of that quantity will be calculating. You will be writing the value. And finally you will write what is mean theta. Mean acceptance angle you will be writing here. So you will be calculating 6 values of theta. Take the average. The numerical aperture you will write as sign of this. This way you can write both the values as the result. That's it. Very simple experiment.